Tara, the author of the Dining on a Dime cookbook with our quick and easy recipes. You can make homemade gravy that is super simple, guys, and so much tastier than the packets. Please stop buying the packets. This is so easy and so delicious. You'll say, why did I buy packets my whole life? Stop. You don't have to buy packets. Delicious homemade gravy. The recipe is in the description below. Let's get started. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we put up new videos. Hello, I am Tara, the author of the Dining on a Dime cookbook where you can eat better, spend less. We have a new hardcover with full color pictures and over 1200 recipes and tips to help you save money on your grocery bill. Check it out at livingonadime.com. All right, to make your homemade gravy, homemade turkey gravy, take your neck, and your giblets, giblets, how do you say it, giblets? And put them in the water. Then add a generous amount of salt. And you're just gonna put this on low and just let it simmer for several hours until you get a nice broth. But you're gonna take the juice from your turkey and you're gonna add it to that wonderful broth that you made with the turkey neck and the giblets. Then I add about four of these bouillon cubes in here just to give it a little extra flavor. We're gonna bring it to a boil. You've got your broth from your neck and your giblets. Then I added some broth from my turkey. Now I have some water and I'm putting in some cornstarch. And I'm going to stir it around, get it nice and dissolved. I'm going to add just a bit more. I do about two tablespoons of cornstarch. Now the trick is to use cold water and let your cornstarch get dissolved first before you put it in your boiling broth, okay? As it comes to a boil, you're going to add your cornstarch water. Make sure it's all mixed. And you're going to bring it to a boil again. All right. As it comes to boil, it's going to start to thicken. Turn your heat down so it doesn't boil over. Then, if it doesn't thicken enough, just add a little bit more cornstarch water. And salt add enough seasoning to make sure it's salted well enough. Okay, now if you want giblet gravy, just cut up your liver and gizzards and add an egg, a hard boiled egg, your liver and gizzards to your gravy. And here you have Thanksgiving dinner all ready. All the yummy goodness. Right there, ran out of bowls, so I had to use my big bowl. And there's the apple pie that my family dove into before I could stop them. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.